Alrighty guys, here we go. We got a 1v1 here. This will be between my good buddy Shad here, spawning in the top left corner as the blue Zerg, and his opponent Tiguani spawning as the red Terran in the top right corner. Gonna be a good ZVT here. One of my favorite matches matchups here is the ZVT. I just like how each side really can counter each other with almost every move that they make they can really counter with another move so that's uh, that's something that I definitely enjoy about a ZBT I do see here Tiguani does put down the supply depot for the wall off as Shad does send out the drone to scout here and he will not be going for anything cheesy like a 10 pool he will be going for a basic build of a 13 extractor 13 hatch I believe it will be if I know Shad correctly, it probably at 13, so he'll probably send that one to an extractor. We'll see in just a second. Uh, no. No, 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 he goes hatch first here. Okay, so he goes hatch first to have a higher economy than his opponent, which is a, a, a good plan. Good plan always to have a higher economy than a Terran player or a Protoss player, just because they have so many units that can come out and really wreck you in a early game or a late game that you need to have that boost in the economy to make it happen later in the game so he does have that expansion going up he does have a few marines scouting out around the area just to see if any overlords are watching him he will not see the overlord that is over here at this point he will be throwing up two more barracks and going double gas so from that it looks like he may be going maybe for siege tanks uh, for more of a late game style here as he does shoot away this uh, overlord here uh, With those two Marines. I don't know how he spotted him. Maybe he just out of luck went over there and spotted him But it was definitely lucky for him to see that overlord because he was gonna see anything that would be spawning or be built over there He does have this overlord here to scout out this bridge to see when opponents move across the bridge And he does have an over overlord coming. He does not have a spawning pool up quite yet uh, oh, no, he does. It's over here, sorry. He does have the spawning pool up, and he does have a few, uh, two lings coming out. Right now, he does have a queen building here at his natural, which he is starting to get plenty of drones for. And just injecting larva there. Tiguani does have it completely walled off here. He will be throwing a reactor down, a tech lab, and nothing on this one. So, reactor tech lab... It's probably going to be, you know, Marine Marauder, good build, basic basic ideas like that. He does have these two Marines here patrolling here to make sure that no Overlords move back towards this area and get in the way. He has a Marine out here checking out what's going on. Uh, Shad does have these two Lings moving across the map here to scout out to see if he took an expansion or whether he's massing up forces. That Ling will fight with this Marine but will die as the other... Ling goes around and checks to see if there's any expansion. He sees that there is indeed no expansion there. Stiguani does have a Marauder out and a few Marines. He does pull the Marines to the Supply Depot to make sure that any Lings coming are going to die indeed. He does go double tech lab for that double research. He is going for the quick stem pack and the quick combat shields right away just to get those two up he does have the engineering bay up with the plus one attack going now which is so effective against lings it is really just insanely effective against lings getting that plus one attack it's just going to make it so much easier to kill lings and he is indeed supply blocked at this point he does have more supply depots going up so he that's not going to be much of a problem he does pull three scvs off the line to take care of those supply depots which isn't terrible it's well enough as we do see here that shed is throwing up a spine crawler here for defense as his main base will be spotted they will spot that baneling nest there and not much more they will only really spot that baneling nest nothing else they won't see the spine crawler down here or the double queens and yeah, it's just going to be pretty basic. He has the Zergling speed going up, but he doesn't really have any Zerglings. He only has two Zerglings out at this point to do anything. He does send that Overlord across to scout. It won't really see anything. It will die, but all it'll see is the double barracks, I believe. All it'll see is that double barracks here. 
Yeah, all he see is the double barracks. He sees the double gas. He sees pretty much everything. But besides, he doesn't see the engineering bay, which could be a problem late game because he right now because he won't know whether his opponent Tiguani is going is does have the upgrades going or not. If he can click on one of the Marines, he sees that there are zero zero. So he doesn't know that they have the upgrades yet, but they will have it very very soon. He does send this spine crawler around to make sure that he can deny any drops on his bases over there on his expansion and he's kind of building up a decent force of zerglings at this point because he does see that he is going extractor but that is a lot of marines that's a lot of marines a lot of marauders with scvs to come help as Shad will indeed see that army moving across the map here and Shad has just got to get something he's morphing up some banelings now to try and clump them all up and do a lot of damage to those marines and kill most of them he does have the double evo chambers and a, a macro hatch going now as he will be throwing up the spire right now and the baneling speed will be going up in just a few seconds just about seven seconds it will not be enough time as he uses those scvs as some meat to eat those baneling shots and that will just the banelings will just get completely destroyed right there Shad's entire army is just empty right now and Shad will is just losing everything the broodlings going to going to work here they will kill off a, f a few marines here so not not terribly ineffective but this queen will eventually go down he does send in some of these banelings here and the banelings will do some decent damage here he does pull all of the s all the drones i mean off of the line to attack these these marauders and marines to try and get them out of here and it, it will eventually work because he eventually will not have enough reinforcements but there are more reinforcements coming in from Tiguani more marines these marauders just kinda hanging out there but more marines will be on their way over to assist him as he is not creating any more marauders he is only creating marines at this point he hasn't thrown down a factory or a space or a starport or anything like that nothing which I, I personally I don't understand at this point I would have thrown down a, a factory and gone for siege tank because he obviously is going a lot of bio that's all he's really going you need to throw a siege tank in here to make make a difference here he will bring down I don't think the spine crawler is actually at all going to even be able to burrow no it will die instantly these mutas though will start doing a good bit of damage to these marines these marines will not be able to handle these um, these Mutilus as they do have the plus one attack, but that that lack of that plus one armor was really going to be a huge difference in this match. As this drone, don't know, must have been a misclick there, is going and was attacking the Marines. Not the best idea here, as Shed does have three Mutilus out to help deal with these five Marines here. And he will be needing to get more Zerglings out. He does have Zerglings on their way. He does have a few out on the field as of right now but it's really Tiwani has him completely held inside of his base Shad cannot move as Tiwani is just he's fixed on doing this all bio uh, attack right here as he throws down two more barracks plenty of uh, supply depots here and it's very surprisingly it's very even on supply here he does pull a bunch more SCVs off the line to help deal with any baneling strikes or anything like that that may be here as really Shad doesn't have any bane links so it's not like it's a problem he does start moving them over here to morph them but his his drones are really gonna have a problem he pulls the drones over to where the bane links are the bane links are nearly completed he does have six bane links on the way which bane links will be able to run straight through that line there and do a lot of damage to that line there if they can keep them away from the SCVs there we go and that'll clean up that completely and now Shad does have that that breathing room once again. He did lose that hatchery though, so that that expansion is not mining at all. So he is losing minerals there, but he is mining with 15 drones here on his uh, his main base, but only has one doing gas. So not the best plan here. He does pull most of his drones off the line. I think that must have been a misclick or something. But those mer those zerglings will fall right away. He does have the plus one attack on the way. If he can keep those evil chambers alive, he does have that plus one attack. 
they are attacking that hatchery as these drones will go in they will get us around here and start killing off these marines here the mutilists do come into a system and at this point it is just simply Siguani has complete control of this map at this point he has complete control he has shed in the base he can do absolutely anything he wants he does not put down any add-ons there and he hasn't taken an expansion at all his macro is just not very good at this point he doesn't have any expansion going he has only four barracks and two of them have no add-ons if he was gonna go to mass marine he should put reactors on those add-ons there and go for an expansion here at this point he's running out of minerals in his main base so eventually he isn't gonna be able to produce any units so Shad can continue to push his opponent and keep him there he can eventually win this game here he does have some banelings morphing here we're gonna roll right down and they're gonna pass right in they're gonna kill a lot of marines there and the rest of those marines are gonna die with that plus one clause that the that the marines are the zerglings do have the zerglings are gonna clean right up these marines here they're gonna be able to go right through them not a big deal they do have plus six attack to the plus seven of the marines the marines do have the plus one armor though so it is gonna make it a little bit harder for the marines to die but just being able to surround the marines it is gonna be the zerglings that get on the top part the zerglings are now pushing straight through more zerglings on the way and Tiwani is stuck at his main now he the battle is completely shifted he was completely pressuring Shad at that point now he finally takes an expansion once he finds he's only down to three mineral patches left he still has no tanks one tank here could mean the difference of this game here but he just will not go a tank he's only going bio Shad is a little bit weak in his economy now but he has enough drones uh, mining here and he has a decent enough economy with those three mutilists he is gonna go in here Shad is gonna go in he's gonna completely clean up all these marines here it's not gonna be a problem here and he wanted GG's at this point because he knows that he has no way of being able to stop these banelings here they will just break straight through this wall here and go right in and completely wreck his economy so I hope you guys enjoyed this match here uh, there will definitely be more on the way just stay tuned and I will be starting my new let's play of game dev tycoon very shortly within the next few days so stay tuned for that one it should be very fun it's a very fun game and I'm looking very much f I'm looking forward to it a lot so thanks for watching make sure to comment like and subscribe talk to y'all later